Hi, welcome to another episode of Sopninga. Today, let's make a quick stop at the planet Venus. Back in the time, people used to stargaze. Venus as the brightest object in the night sky. After the moon, it was pretty and much easy to spot in the dark night sky. Mesmerized by its attractive appearance, Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. The planet Venus was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Venus is a twin sister of planet Earth. Yes, an evil twin. Even though Venus is the second closest planet from the Sun, surprisingly, it is the hottest planet in the entire solar system. Its dense atmosphere mainly contains carbon dioxide and clouds made of sulfuric acid. Due to this runaway greenhouse gases, traps heat in its atmosphere, making the planet hottest in our solar system. Maybe we should consider to reduce our consumption of fossil fuels, which is the main cause of greenhouse gases in our planet. Otherwise, we may too end up like this. It is a terrestrial planet like all the other inner planets. It has no moon. Its diameter is 12,104 kilometers. A Venusian year is equals to 224.7 Earth days and a Venusian day is equals to 223 Earth days. Venus is rotating in the opposite direction. Scientists assume these phenomena due to that the planet may have collided with another planet. Or the sun's gravitational pull on the planet, its very dense atmosphere, could have caused strong atmospheric tides. Such tides combined with friction between Venus's mantle and core could have caused a flip in the first place. Taking into account the factors mentioned above, as well as tidal effects from other planets, a team of researchers concluded that Venus's axis could have shifted through a variety of positions throughout the planet's evolution. The other theory says its rotation slowed to a standstill and then reverse direction. Venus is in many ways similar to Earth in its structure. It has an iron core that is approximately 3200 kilometers in radius. Above that is a mantle made of hot rock slowly churning due to the planet's interior heat. The surface is a thin crust of rock that bulges and moves as Venus's mantle shifts and creates volcanoes. Venus could have completely resurfaced by volcanic activity 300 to 500 million years ago. Venus has two large highland areas. Ishtar Terra and Aphrodite Terra. When we see Venus, it is bright white due to the covered clouds that reflect and scatter sunlight. Venus has mountains, valleys and tens of thousands of volcanoes. Mat Mons is the highest volcano and the highest mountain on Venus, Maxwell Montes, is similar to the highest mountain on Earth. Mount Everest. We can experience snow in Venus. Not an ordinary snow. It's a crazy mineral snow. It's brightening of the radar reflection from the surface of Venus's at high elevations. The snow appears to be a mineral condensate of lead sulfide and bismuth sulfide precipitated from the atmosphere at altitudes above 2600 meters. The landscape is dusty and surface temperatures reach a scalding 471 degrees Celsius. Due to high temperatures on the surface of Venus, these minerals would gradually evaporate. Faster weathering at high elevations 
might continually expose new material, causing the highlands to appear brighter than lowlands. Venus is covered in craters, but none are small than 1.5 to 2 kilometers across. Small meteorites burn up in the dense atmosphere, so only large meteorites reach the surface and create impact craters. Venus's atmosphere consists mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid droplets. These atmosphere have many layers with different temperatures. At the level where the clouds are, about 30 miles up from the surface, it's about the same temperature as on the surface of Earth. Wind speeds can reach up to 360 km per hour in Venus. It is more violent than a Category 5 hurricane. The atmospheric pressure on Venus equals about 90 Earth atmospheres, or about the same as the pressure at a depth of 1.6 km in the Earth's oceans. In the past, Venus may have liquid water on its surface. The trace amounts of water in the upper atmosphere combined with sulfur dioxide to form clouds made of sulfuric acid that causes frequent rainstorms. The acid rain evaporates long before it reaches the surface of the planet. However, the vapor rises into the atmosphere to create more rain and the whole cycle continues. Scientists once believed that there were frequent lightning storms on Venus, but the Cassini probe was unable to detect any during its two flybys on the way to Saturn. They attribute this lack to the fact that the Venusian atmosphere circulates horizontally rather than vertically as it does on Earth. There is speculation of life existing on Venus's distant past. As well as questions about the possibility of life in the top cloud layers of Venus's atmosphere where the temperatures are less extreme. Venus has a similarly sized iron core like Earth, but its magnetic field is much weaker than the Earth's due to Venus's slow rotation. These spacecrafts helped us to understand Venus. When we are looking at the space missions to other planets, most of them are by NASA. But surprisingly, the former USSR or Soviet Union took to their heels and sent several missions to Venus, and they gained some incredible milestones in the history of space missions. A series of space probes named Venera were sent to Venus from 1961 to 1983. A total number of 16 space probes were sent in the series. Another series of a space mission was the Vega. Vega 1 was launched on 15 December 1984 and Vega 2 on 21st December 1984. Venera 8 was the first fully successful landing on another planet and Venera 9 was the first spacecraft to take images from the surface of another planet. Mariner 1, 2, 5 and 10 were launched by NASA from the year 1962 to 1973. Pioneer 1 launched on 20th May 1978 and Pioneer 2 on 8th August 1978 by NASA. Space probe Magellan was launched on 4th May 1989 by NASA. Launched by NASA on 18th October 1989 was the Galileo space probe. Launched on 15th October 1997 by NASA was the Cassini spacecraft. On the 3rd August 2004, NASA launched a spacecraft named Messenger. Venus Express was launched by the European Union on 9th November 2005. Pepe Colombo was also launched by the European Union on the 20th May 2010. Japan launched on the 20th May 2010 Icarus. Looks like this is where we're going to end this episode. Please provide a comment in the comment section below. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.